Recently, I took a look at the Samsung Galaxy Beam. You guys remember the projector phone? I also took a look at the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. You know, the phone that has the literal built-in camera on the back? And I had another phone planned to review, but this week everyone's been like, oh, the Apple Vision Pro, let's go spend $3,500 on this new VR headset. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I'm gonna go buy a VR headset for myself, but not from this year from 2016. Well, this one might be from 2017, but same difference, the Gear VR. I see these pieces of junk on Facebook all the time and I had to get one for myself. Powered by Oculus, huh? I constantly see these on Facebook Marketplace anywhere from like 10 to 20 bucks, so I had to get one. Compatible with anything from like S6 Edge all the way up to S8, I mean, I can't say no. So today we're gonna open this thing up and see if it could be used in 2024. And I got some good news and I got some bad news, but you're gonna have to stay tuned to get both of those. First, I'll give you the bad news. The state of California says this thing causes cancer. I'm willing to take that risk for a good time. Some good news is I got this used off of Facebook Marketplace. I got this unit used off of Facebook Marketplace and it was only $20 and it came with pretty much everything that a new unit would come with, including a user manual, the goodies like the VR remote, which are essential for some of the games that we're going to play, so definitely stay tuned for that, the adapters for other phones like the S6 Edge and the S6, and the head strap. Oh yeah. The VR headset itself is a little funky looking, but it's pretty lightweight and it looks kind of cool. The side of it has this touchpad here. With with a back button and a home button. And then this cover right here, it's hollow because it's essentially useless, it's just a cover. So obviously this is the side that you look into, and then this is the side that your smartphone sits on. So literally, your smartphone just plugs right in here into the USB-C port. Kind of interesting, right? The first phone I wanted to try was the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. By the way, shout out to iFixit. I wish my friend wouldn't have sold his phone shop. I wasn't sure if this phone was gonna work, but I figured I may as well try. By the way, my first flagship device ever was a Note 8, and then the Note 9. I absolutely love the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, and I used this phone for years. Unfortunately, I dropped it like 1,400 times. Long story short, when I tried to put it into the Gear VR, no matter which way I tried to put it into the Gear VR, I could not get the VR to accept the device. No matter how many times I pushed it down or which adapter I used, it would not clip into the Gear VR. But don't worry, I have an S10e. And with a little adjustment here and a little adjustment there, when I put the S10e into the USB-C slot and clip it down, it was actually a perfect fit. Literally a perfect fit and it was meant to be. Now I have some more bad news. Gear VR isn't really supported anymore for newer Android devices and you're gonna have some issues if you put your Android device into this VR headset. You won't be able to set up a new account or log into an old account, basically. It's gonna give you a bunch of error codes and trouble. But here's a workaround that worked for me, and maybe it'll work for you too. First, go into your phone settings and search Gear VR Services, and go into that app, and once you're in that app, scroll all the way down to Storage. Click on Storage, and then scroll down and tap on Manage Storage. Once you're there, you're gonna tap on VR Service Version to enter Developer Mode. You're gonna tap it like five five or six times. Tap it, tap it, tap it until it says you've entered developer mode. And then you're gonna match the developer options to what I have right here. And because you've matched those developer options, it's gonna add this app to your home screen, Gear VR. And out of that application is where you're gonna launch everything, such as applications and your Oculus browser. When you download APKs, you can launch them from this application right here. And you can view them here as well. You can actually see one at the very top. Right now. now for some more good news, because of the workaround, we can actually launch the Oculus browser, connect the S10e, and I'm about to show you guys what that looks like in a few seconds. Prepare to be amazed with some 2017 virtual reality. Wow. What? Oh, and I, I could adjust. Okay, so here is where we could adjust for clarity. Okay, now I can see. And I'm wearing glasses. This is fantastic. How? How does my mouth look? I feel like it's all kind of smashing my smash in my mouth, but uh, also it feels like there's a hundred pounds and there should be a strap that goes here. Um, here's my little 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 VR guy here. Uh, that's kind of nice. And also right here, you can control with your finger if you want to. Um, but we've got we've got the controller. If you cannot tell by the heavy breathing, the headset is plugging my nose. And when you wanna when you want to activate, 
you just kind of kind of click that and you can see it activates the pointer so that's what we're going to do sorry for my squeaky chair by the way okay well this is what this is what we got it, it looks it looks pretty cool all of this uh, it, oh and and then you you slide your finger as you could see that's my finger sliding right there as you can see most of the browser is unsupported but we're working with what we have look at my little slidey finger <laughs> Instagram, YouTube, Vimeo, Twitch, ESPN, Google, Bing. I remember when Bing was a thing. Hey, I wonder if I could Wikipedia my name. What? Let's see. Okay, English. Do, do, do. Let's search Wikipedia. Am, am I wikipedia -able? Uh, okay, come on. I'm not wikipedia -able. Come on, guys. This is, this is actually kind of cool. By the way, I'm, I'm like just floating, just just floating in space here. Let's let's try YouTube. Let's. I know YouTube's got John Zoid. Pretty pretty cool setup. Again, this is this is how we scroll. Oh look, Mr. Beast. That's disgusting. John Zoid. There we go. All right, let's watch the most recent video. Uh, I think I can go into like 1080p with this thing. Let's see. Like this camera right here has 10 times okay. Oh, we're already in 10, 1080. Uh, let's talk in 1.75x. There we go. John Zoid in 180 view. Let's see. Oh my gosh! Let's go VR, VR 360. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what is going on? We are pretty limited to like YouTube and some web browsing, so let's do some games. Let's start with Angry Birds. Okay, we are recording. I've got this little slingshot here. We're recording. I've got a slingshot here. Um, press the trigger and pull. Press the trigger to pull back the slingshot. Okay. Dude! Oh! Hi! Hi, little birdies! Hi! Wait, hold on, look at me. Hi! Hi, little birdie, how you doing? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bird, how you doing there? Wow, okay. Okay, here we go. Um, let's, let's hit the TNT. Yes. Good job. All right, let's do this again. Let's go right there. Oh, dude. I didn't even do anything. Oh, heck yeah. Yes. Okay, now I'm having fun. What else do we have here? Okay, deer hunting VR. Okay, this is going to be good. Deer hunt VR. Oh, yeah. We are deer hunting. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mission objective. Kill two ducks. Tap to dismiss. You start with your primary weapon. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. You start with the primary weapon. You swipe down to use your new shotgun. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Oh. Oh my. I'm sorry, Mr. Duck. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, here's, here's one. Here's one. Oh. Oh my goodness. I, oh my gosh. This is so invigorating. Mission objective, kill two bighorn sheep. I'm just in a mountain. Just in this beautiful mountain somewhere. I have no idea where I am. Tap to dismiss. Okay. Um. Oh, this, this feels so wrong. It feels so bad. There's just butterflies and this, this random sheep who's just here. I have no choice. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, sir. 
Oh no. Oh. Okay. Very interesting game. I don't know if YouTube's gonna like this, but uh, okay. On to the next. Okay, well let's bring this down a notch and uh, play some classic games. Let's let's bring it home with Smash Hit VR. This is okay. gonna be fun. Smash Hit. Smash Hit is a classic game. Okay, we are recording. Smash Hit is a classic game, and we actually have the controller hooked up for this game. So, let's play. All we have to do for this is, is press click, and then we look around with this, so. Oh, yeah. The main thing is to look in the right place. Make sure this is clear. Oh, this is so nostalgic. I love this game. Ooh, I'm surprised I got that. Let's go. Oh, I missed both those. Ooh, I got lucky with that one. Whoa, looking down is crazy. I'm just using this button to click, by the way. So in the end, is the Gear VR by Oculus usable in 2024? You know, yes it is. Is it limited to its use? Yes, you're going to have to download some APKs and do some workarounds, but for 20 bucks, it's totally usable in 2024. It could definitely be some fun. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe because I release videos like this every single Saturday morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.